house. I would appreciate it if you refrain from using any insulting, derogatory, or vulgar language. Fuck you! I have respected you as my guest thus far. I would appreciate it if you respected me as your host. So fucking yes, fuck you, pussy! I'll beat your fucking ass! I swear to God, as soon as you let me out here, I'll fucking kill you. What are you, some type of sick fuck? Huh? You get up on this type of shit? Fuck! I don't want to shoot in man. It's fucking sick fucks like you. I swear to God. What were you saying? Splendid! <laughs> I apologize. I just thought it was necessary that I clarify the importance of that rule. So, what were you saying? Look, man, well, why do you have me here? <laughs> Very simple. We're having you for dinner. Oh, you sick fuck. I knew you were some type We're of having camp. a chicken. Poultry, culinary delight, you know, farmer's fleshlight. Farmer's what? <laughs> Jason, Jason, there's no need for you to be nervous. Really? Really? Yeah, you have nothing to worry about. See, the reason I brought you here tonight was... Just a moment. What the fuck do you want? tell you about using that vulgar fucking language in my household! <laughs> so sorry that you had to hear that. Now, Jason, I've got to go set up for tonight's festivities. Fair back. Oh, and uh, Jason. I thought you said the food was ready. You're making our guest very impatient. <laughs> women, am I right? Yeah, women. Honey! Calm down, you ungrateful fuck! I'm right here! Oh. I didn't see you there. I'm destiny with an I. I'm Ivans. What's your name, sweetie pop? Jason. Jason Dunn. Oh, sorry, I just got lost in those spectacular, spectacular eyes. Court? Mm. Jason, Jason. Such a Sexy name for such a sexy stud. Much better than some disgusting Slavic name like, I don't know, Ivan or some... Oh, sorry, I wasn't thinking. Oh, well, you never are. Huh? I said you look avant-garde. <laughs> it's 
So, uh, Jason. Yes. My dear boy, might I ask you a question? I guess. Does she look sick to you? Um. And my wife, does she look like a starving orphan or a Or is that just me? Well, when your husband's been out of work, you kind of waste away. Mm. Well, when your wife is a gargantuan, delicate flower. He's a what? He's a dangerous prowler. What does he do? I just told you, he prowls. Yeah, but what does he do? Oh. It says here he's been uh, attributed to a missing persons case uh, every month for the past two and a half years. What's this sick guy's name? We don't know. Jesus. You know, someone should really find out about that. Yeah, somebody really should. God, this country. Hey, Frankie? Yeah, Bradley? Isn't that our job? Oh, shit. What the fuck did you just say? Well, shit, I just fucking cut myself. What did I tell you about using that vulgar fucking language in my household? Do you know how close you are to becoming a eunuch? Yeah, I know how close I am to leaving you. What the fuck was that? Are we missing someone? Oh, yes. Kaylee, dinner's ready. Kaylee? Kids these days. Yeah, hello, sweetie. We. Kaylee, get down here right now. We have a guest. Yeah, yeah, I'm considering it. I really am. Kaylee, get down here. <sighs> Excuse me a moment. That little bitch, I'm gonna get her. I'm sorry you had to hear all that. It's okay, you guys always been this way. No, no, we used to be very happy. But then money got tight, and with the kid, and then there was the blood oath, so. I'm sorry, what? So, Jason, what do you do? Well, I'm an architect. Really? An architect? Fascinating. Uh, what have you designed? Well, I haven't really designed anything yet. I'm, I'm an aspiring architect. Mm, I see. So you're like uh, Jeffrey Kabatsky. I'm sorry, who? Exactly. <sighs> I swear I'm gonna waterboard that kid one of these days. Gentlemen? Either. Kaylee, come down and meet your new suitor. It's Pond, Emilio, Arnold Palmer. It's a real swell 70s band. You won't understand. You're right. I don't understand. And frankly, I don't care if it's Arnold Schwarzenegger or any Mein Kampf and Pig Latin. That wasn't nice. That wasn't nice. You know what's not nice? Finding a bag of bones balls deep in the Western Canal every night. It's not nice to have this foul prowler pouncing on young men listening to this hot fucking garbage. Christ, Brad, they can't even pay a goddamn key. This whole situation isn't nice. Yeah, well, it was nice. It was crisp in my tunes, man. Detective Worst, get your mind out of the clouds and into the court. The courtroom. Now what do we have on these guys? No, we uh, no, we only takes males, and uh, been doing this every month since spring of two years ago. Good stuff, Bradley. What about the bones? Do we have anything on the witnesses? Uh, we do. 
But it's not consistent. What do you mean it's not consistent? Oh, uh, there are uh, witness reports of a 30-something-year-old male dumping bags into the canal uh, in the early morning. So that's our guy? Well, not exactly. Uh, there seems to be a three-month gap in between. Um, the murders happen every month. But there are other strange sightings in the morning. Like what? Well, the only other witness accounts are of... Uh, Mother and daughter taking a stroll. So what you're saying is there's a whole family taking shifts to dump these bones. Wait a minute, Frankie. Yes, Bradley? I think we've got a family working together, taking shifts to dump these bones. That <laughs> couldn't possibly. Could it? Possibly it could, Detective Ferger. You know the strange thing about the case? Like what? Carvings. Carvings in the bones left behind. Hey, take a look at this. Hey, does that look familiar to you? Yeah. Kind of looks like a... Broken heart. So, Ivan? How are you enjoying dinner? Uh, <laughs> it's... <clears throat> what about you, Jason? Are you enjoying what my wife made? I think it's really good, Daddy. Thank you, sweetie. That really means a lot. I wasn't talking to you. Uh, it's okay, sweetheart. Your mother just has trouble communicating. And your father has trouble keeping an erection. So, Jason! What kind of bands do you like? Uh, well, I mean, I like three amigos to the left, five knuckle shufflers, Oh, and uh, Rage Against the Machine. Do you like wedding pants? I'm sorry, I've never heard of that. Huh, <laughs> neither has Ivan. Oh, excuse me, but, but what's that on your finger? Oh, look, a wedding band! Oh, what, this fucking thing that came out of a goddamn Cracker Jack box? Uh, how did she know? Uh, anyways, I'm sorry, Jason, but I haven't been entirely honest with you. What are you talking about? Well, I said that you have nothing to worry about, but there is one tiny little thing that you do have to worry about. Yeah, that would be... Um, your... With my mom. Calling all available units. We need a uh, backup at uh, 3624 East Melville Lane. Are you certain it's them? Positive. How can you be so sure? We got a call of a domestic dispute uh, with a family that matches the description. Uh, home's relatively close to the canal. Uh, didn't you pick this up on your earpiece? I don't believe in radios. What do you mean you don't believe in radios? I heard those little ear things can give you cancer. That's ridiculous. Do they? Hold up. What do you mean a life with your daughter? You and Shut my it, Destiny. You and my daughter are going to be getting married. You see, my little girl here, oh, she just desperately needs a new hubby. Oh, the old ones were all oh, washed out. <laughs> Look, I'm sorry, but I'm not marrying her. You see, that's what the last one said. You tried to jilt my little princess. Jilt? What's that? You know, when you uh, leave a girl at the altar or something. Why is that carved into the bones? Well, I've been thinking. It's uh, too specific to be a random detail. It could have something to do with their motive. This must have been planned. Methodical. We got some sophisticated killers on our hands. I fucking told you! I fucking told you this isn't the way to do it! What's wrong with me, Daddy? Shut the fuck up, Destiny! <laughs> I have been putting up with your shit all night, and I'm starting to get real sick of it. I have been sick of your shit for years. You knock me up, I bear your fucking child, and now every month we have to go out and kidnap some fucking dunce what? and kill him because he doesn't want to marry into this family of self-destructive psychopaths. Who wouldn't want to spend a night with that? I would. You're a real sick fuck, you know that, Ivan? Of course I am. I've been eating that 
dog shit all night. Daddy, why does mommy have to ruin everything? I ruined everything? Your father's the cause of all this shit. Don't you dare try and pin all this shit on me. <laughs> I'm running away. I hate this family. Fuck you, I Evan. Fuck you. All of fuck you. you. Ah, shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. I have been tied up and sitting in this fucking chair all fucking day. Okay, at first I was keeping my mouth shut, but now I don't give a motherfuck. Huh? You wanna rape me, you wanna kill me, I don't fucking care anymore. Huh? Now look, you guys are all a bunch of white chicken shit motherfuckers with a bunch of fucking family issues. And if you ask me, I would go as far as to say, you don't even wanna be killing people. You guys just wanna be a complete family. I just want a regular goddamn family. I want to worry about the things every mother has to worry about. A family picnic not going right. A pet shitting on the new carpet. Maybe my daughter having to fit in by ways of underage drinking. Is that too much to ask? <laughs> I get it you may not like your mom sometimes, but God damn it, please show that woman some respect. All right, she's done the best she could given the circumstances she's been put in. You understand that? And Ivan, you really gotta learn to take care of yourself, man. Especially before you can start taking care of your family. All right, look, I get it. You don't wanna be in public getting judged. None of you guys do. That's why you stay in this house. All right, but all of you guys are good enough. All of you. You just have to work together. That's the only way you'll get through this, is if you work together. You guys understand? Jason's right. We all need to work together if we're gonna get through this. We don't need to marry our daughter off to be a complete family. We are a complete family. That's exactly what I'm saying. Jason. I think you've saved this family. And for that, I will forever be grateful to you. Yeah. Ivan, what are you doing? What does it look like I'm doing? I'm setting him free. But won't he tell the police? <laughs> I'm a nigga. I don't snitch, y'all did it. <laughs> now, I know it's a bit awkward, but... Would you like to stay for dinner? Actually, I'd like... That sounds like a wonderful idea. Now let's just enjoy this uh, <coughs> this this food and uh, have a night we'll never forget. That sounds lovely. Let's all just sit down and enjoy. freeze. You know what, Bradley? That's some fine detective work you did out there. Thanks, Frankie. Couldn't have done it without you. Hey, I always celebrate with one of those weird bands you like so much. Golly, you got it, Detective Ferger.